<laughs> hey, a new book is exposing disturbing new details about Hillary Clinton's server investigation. Guilty as sin is the quote, and that's the title. Reveals the officials in the Obama administration decided before the investigation even started that the Democratic nominee would not face prosecution. So what else did that author uncover? Let's ask him. That's right. Ed Klein joins us right now. Good morning, morning to you. Good morning. Oh, looks like the book's already a, a bestseller. Uh, I read about half of it. Why did Barack Obama not want Hillary Clinton to be the nominee for the Democrats? Because he and Bill Clinton are blood feud guys. I mean, they really dislike each other. And his feeling was if the Clintons got in the White House, the Obamas would be marginalized. So he really was pushing Joe Biden. He was pushing who Joe. Out, and then he was pushing Elizabeth Warren. And he had secret meetings with Biden and, and Warren trying to convince them to run against Hillary, and both of them said no. Because Joe had the tragedy with his son. That's and right. And he could not, it, obviously, we totally understand. He, he really wanted it. to run for president, Joe did. He just didn't have it in him because of that tragedy. And uh, Barack Obama wanted Hillary Clinton indicted, said turn everything over to the FBI. That was before he was stuck with her and right. realized he had to put his full support behind How do you know that? How do I know it? Because I have sources w both inside the White House, inside the Obama administration, inside the Clinton administration, and I have a very good sources very close to Valerie Jarrett. Okay, so after it was uh, realized Joe Biden wasn't going to run, Elizabeth Warren said it wasn't her time. Uh, you talk about a, a meeting in the White House, you got Valerie Jarrett and you got <laughs> Michelle Obama, and they realize they got to tell the president they're going to have to do a 180 yes. with the Department of Justice and the FBI. But the worry is that Comey might actually uh, suggest uh, charges. What happened there was the uh, Attorney General. Loretta Lynch was telling the public that this was an independent FBI investigation. At the same time, she was secretly going to the White House with FBI documents and filling in Valerie Jarrett and the, and the president about what was going on so that they could get a strategy to make sure that she Hillary would not be indicted. There's no doubt about it that people are wondering about the investigation uh, with James Comey in charge, but how can you actually compromise somebody that took on the Bush administration that is actually a Republican? What, what leverage do you have? He's got a term that's going to last eight years. He's got a term that's going to last eight years, but his goal in life is his reputation. This building that he's in, the FBI building, is literally falling down. I mean, it's crumbling. They're going to have to tear down that building. It's called the Hoover Building, right? His goal is to have the new building called the James Comey Building. So they have this conversation. The president makes it very clear he doesn't want an indictment out of the Department of Justice. And regarding James Comey, uh, they thought, well, he might walk, he might quit, in which case they had a plan B. What would they do? They would pardon Hillary Clinton? That's right. Or Hillary would pardon herself if she comes president. Unbelievable. Yeah, it really is unbelievable because Comey had this reputation of being the Elliot Ness of his time, yeah. right? Untouchable. And when it push came to shove, he really collapsed. And he did refuse to indict her because he was protecting, as I say, his own reputation and the reputation of the FBI. What did you find out about her health? How did I find out what about did you find What about did I find out about her health? A lot. I found out that she has uh, arrhythmia, which is an uncertain heartbeat. She has a leaky valve that uh, the doctors wanted her to replace in a uh, valve replacement surgery. And she said, no, I'm afraid it would leak out. And people would say, then I'm not qualified to be president. She has a tendency, as we all know, to blood clot. So if she faints because of her low blood pressure and hits her head, she could get a blood clot that could be fatal. Well, it's a new book. It's going to be another bestseller, uh, Guilty as Sin by Ed Klein. Ed, thank you very much for joining us. Great to be here. Thanks, Ed.